My husband made me beg while nine months pregnant. You're at risk of miscarriage. Strict bed rest for you. My husband had his own opinion on the matter and a clear-cut plan. There's always risk, and beauty doesn't last forever. Go to work! I was hungrier than ever and could barely wait until morning. My wife has to weigh no more than 90 pounds. If you get fat, we'll be penniless. I didn't eat in four days not to gain weight. I could hardly stand on my feet. It felt like the catwalk shook beneath me. I woke up in the hospital and realized it all right away. You weren't supposed to work in your condition. I lost my baby. Now you won't get fat. You'll be back in modeling in no time. I came home on foot and no one was waiting for me there. This is my boss. We were preparing a pitch. Ben's boss laughed in my face. Without your baby, we can carry on as usual. I kicked out my husband's lover and boiled with rage. He doesn't like fat people. Get lost. But I like rich people. I lost my baby because I was skinny and he preferred a voluptuous girl. I was exhausted and broke. Ben took everything with him. I wanted to divorce him and never see him again. Sorry, I don't work for free. Call me when you have money. Throwing Ben's stuff out made me feel a bit better. I needed money, so I started job hunting. I hated modeling after what happened. But apart from a model gig, I wasn't offered a thing. Meanwhile, Ben was doing much better. I'm selling the house to invest in my fiancé's business. Your chubby girl won't get my house. I bluffed. He had every chance of making me homeless. I talked the corner store owner into hiring me. But remember, it's harder than strutting the catwalk. I worked as the only saleswoman with no co-workers. Great job for an almost homeless girl. I rented a room in the attic above the store. This job became my home and an escape from my thoughts. I brought you our baby's stuff. Sell it. You won't need them, and I'll get new clothes for my baby. I went from a successful model to the face of a thrift store brand. I'd never heard so much gratitude in my entire career. I hadn't had that many acquaintances in my years on the catwalk. For thousands, our store became more than a fashion house. I'm immigrating, and I want to sell the store to you. The store is your life. In 10 years, you'll have a chain. I took out a loan and became the corner store owner. I still lived in the attic, and it was now my home. One day, a customer demanded to see me. Give me a discount on these for old times' sake. I hardly recognized this man as my ex-husband. I'll give them to you for free, like you gave me our child's clothes. I've done a lot of things wrong, but fate's already punished me. My wife took all my money and eloped with her lover. I know I owe you a massive apology. Let's start over. Your past is no longer in your control, but your future is always in your hands. I'm pregnant and I don't want to lose the baby again because of you. I rushed off for my date with my soon-to-be hubby. Who was that man you were talking to? An old friend of mine. <laughs>